Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it! <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. How are you doing, Axel? Hmm? I guess Mr. Axel's doing okay. So, today, I got a little bit of a project. A little bit of a surprise for myself, for my audience, for the whole entire world, guys. Amazing stuff. Mike, what's the big deal? What's the surprise? What's going on? Why do you have your Trek 7.3 FX yada 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 out? That bike that you swore you'd never touch again. You're done with it. Without further ado, ado. Years ago I had one of these. It was a cheaper version, but basically it's the exact same thing. Uh, this is just a more expensive model. It probably doesn't do anything any different. It's just a heavier duty. Heavier duty version of what I had. Yes, guys, it's a bicycle trainer. Uh, the, if I can remember, I'll put a picture in of the one that I used to have here. I went last night and I picked this one up for $75. A guy I know, or acquaintances with anyway. Uh, he owns a skating rink here in our town. I wish it was a smart trainer though, because I, re I really would like to do Zwift. But, maybe one day. This thing, these things are good for those nights when you're restless and you want to be active and you want to do something but you don't feel like getting out. So you can just jump on the trainer and pedal out some miles. Uh, sweat a little bit. Anyway, also good for when it rains or snows and ice or hail or whatever's going on. Or you didn't take the time to get out during the day you were busy or something and you, and you don't really have time and you don't want to ride and so anyway they're versatile they give you a, a choice at least uh, the only bad thing is is I'm not gonna be able to uh, have any track of like putting it on Strava and stuff like that I'm a big Strava user uh, I have kept track of all of my rides my miles my routes and everything since the day I started riding I didn't even start using Strava until a little bit later on, though. I used a couple of other apps, RunKeeper and Runtastic, and plus I just used Google Maps, where you can measure the distance out and track out your own map on Google Maps, and I would just remember where I went and track it all down, you know, map it out. And So I've been keeping track of all my rides since day one. Exactly. 2016, February... 13th was my very first ride so I have records of all my rides anyway this video is gonna be super long I suppose cuz I'm rambling on I'm gonna try and get this bike set up to where I can use it on this trainer I thought that'd be a good idea give me a reason to have this trek still so I'm gonna do that and see how that works out
Well, it looks like I threw away my my tire that matched my front tire. Looks like I threw that in the way. But I have these laying around, which are some, I don't know if they're called small blocks. Yeah, small block 8 Pro. Uh, don't really care nothing about these kind of tires, personally, but I think I could just switch the that front tire for this one and put the front one on the back. So, I may do that. How about that? I'm just going to put this tire on the back and this small block on the front. That's all I'm going to do. I'll get with you. Alright. I got the front tire off the front rim. I got it, the tube aired up nice and big and fat. Just seeing if it's going to hold air. I'm going to put all that on the back wheel. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to make a trip to Walmart and buy a cheap little tube to put in the front tire. Could I make a 27.5 inch work? Probably. And I may do that. I'm going to test it out. I'm a tester. So, trying to get this 27.5 inch tube on this 29 inch wheel. Good grief, I finally got the tire on. Whew. I had to break out like six tire levers. And broke one of them. Now I'll probably air it up and it'll have a hole in it. So. And getting everything finished up here the trainer actually comes with a skewer that you got to use for your bike because uh, the fittings the fittings on the uh, trainer won't fit around your typical skewer quick release if you will So, unfortunately, the front tire that was so extremely hard to get on, I'm going to have to take it all back off and put a new tube in.
Well, there you go, guys. Whew. Not as hard of a process as I thought it was going to be, but I'm just disappointed I got to take off that front wheel, that front tire, if I choose to. Honestly, I could just sit it up on a book and be done with it. That's probably what I'll do instead of spending $6 for a tube. Whew. Hey, guess what? At the end of the day, I'm getting some use out of this old bike. I'm glad I didn't throw it away like I plan on doing. So I'm going to put this inside the house and get some use out of it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, you can also buy these things and get you an extra little bit of workout when you otherwise might not have been able to. Whew. Guys, get up, get out, get rad and do it to it. Even on a bicycle trainer, even when putting a tire with a smaller tube on a bike and having to take it back off, I ain't going to take it back off. We'll see y'all later. Have a good day. Peace out. Get up, get out, get around and do it, do it! <laughs>